So I'd like for us to look at another example with Jefferson's method. So let's look at this problem. A high school is creating a student committee to allocate of classrooms after hours. The committee is to consist of 10 student members chosen from three interest groups. So there's a social group that has 48 members, a political group that has 97 members, an athletic group that has 245 members. So I've already listed the, um, the different interest groups. I'm just going to add the number of students that are involved. So social has 48, political has 97, and athletic has 245. So the first thing you'd want to do is you want to total up um, the total number of students that we have. So if we add 48, 97, and 245, we'll end up with a total of 390 students, of which those 10 students can be chosen from. So once you have that total, the first thing you need to do in both Hamilton and Jefferson's method is to find what's called the standard divisor, and I'm just going to label it with SD. To find that standard divisor, you're going to take your total number of students in this case, which is 390, and divide it by the number of items that we're trying to apportion. In this case, we're trying to apportion 10 students, so we're going to divide by 10, and that will give us a standard divisor of 39. Now we end up with a nice standard divisor here of 39, but sometimes it'll be a decimal. Again, typically we will round things to three decimal places along the way until we get to the end of the problem. What does that 39 stand for? The 39 represents the fact that um, in order for a interest group to receive one of the um, memberships in that committee, they're going to have to have 39 students at least. So now once we have the standard divisor, starting out the same way we did with Hamilton's method, we want to find the standard quota, which will tell us approximately how many um, committee members each of these interest groups will receive. So for example, for the social interest group, you're going to take the number of students, which are 48 students in that interest group, and divide by the standard divisor of 39. So this is going to give us 1.231. We'll repeat the same thing for political and athletic. So for political, 97 divided by 39 will give us 2.487. And 245 divided by 39 for athletic will give us 6.282. Now, just like with um, Hamilton's method, the first thing we want to do here, the next thing, is the lower quota. The lower quota simply meaning that we're going to drop the decimal places um, after the numbers in the standard quota. So, for example, social is just going to become 1, political will become 2, and athletic will become 6. So we always want to total this number. So in this instance, this is going to give us 9. But unfortunately, the problem asks us to apportion 10 students. So we're missing one student. So if this was Hamilton's method, all we would need to do is go back under the standard quota, find the number with the largest um, numbers after the decimal place, and then that would get an extra student. But with Jefferson's method, it's a little bit different. Jefferson's method requires us to actually come up with the perfect 10 when we hit right here. So our lower quota should automatically give us 10. So here's the problem. 9 is too small because we wanted 10. That tells us, since it is too small, that tells us that we need a smaller standard divisor, or we're really going to call it MD for modified divisor. So in Jefferson's method, we actually end up coming up with a modified divisor, since the standard divisor did not work. So this is trial and error um, for us to work here for, to find the modified divisor. We know we want it to be smaller than the standard divisor of 39. Okay, so I want it smaller than 39. So let's try a modified divisor of 37. So we're going to try a modified divisor of 37. And let's see what happens with that. 
So we're going to find now what we're going to call our modified quota. So we're going to go back to the original numbers, starting with the 48 for social. And instead of dividing by 39, we're going to divide by 37. So we're going to have 48 divided by 37, which, which will end up giving us 1.297. We're going to repeat the process for political and athletic. So for political, we're going to take 97 and divide by our modified divisor of 37. And that will give us 2.622. And we'll do the same thing for athletic. So 245 divided by our modified divisor of 37 will give us 6.622. All right, so we're going to look at our modified lower quota now. So everything is modified because we've changed from our initial standard divisor of 39 to a modified divisor now of 37. So again, I'm going to drop all of the decimal places. So I'll have 1, 2, and 6. And unfortunately, that still gives me 9. Remember, we're trying to end up with 10, and with Jefferson's method, it has to work at this point of the game for us to have an answer. So we can't add any like we do with Ham Hamilton's method. We've got to get an answer from this lower quota piece. So 37 did not work, so we're going to try again, and we'll keep trying with trial and error until we get the right answer. Um, so I'm going to cross out this so we realize that did not work. All right, so let's try something else. We know that 9 is too small because we need 10. So that means that that modified divisor of 37, I need to go lower. So this time, let's try a modified divisor of 35. So 35 is lower than 37. We'll see if that will work. So using 35, we're going to repeat the process. And let's try another, or come up with a column for the modified quota. So starting with social again, we're back to this 48. We're going to take 48 and divide by 35. So that will give us 1.371. Then we'll repeat that for the political group and the athletic group. So the political group political group has 97, so 97 divided by 35 will give us 2.771. And then the athletic group with 245, if I take 245 and divide by 35, I end up with 7. So my modified quotas are there. So now let's find the lower quotas. So my modified lower quotas, again, all I'm doing, I'm dropping the decimal places. So for social, I'd have 1. For political, I would have 2, and for athletic, I would have 7. And that, this time, does give me a total of 10, which is what we are looking for. So that means that my answers for Jefferson's method for this particular problem is that for the social group, they would have one committee member, the political group would have two committee members, and the athletic group would end up with seven committee members. So with Jefferson's method, it's a little more difficult because of the trial and error. So we had, you possibly might have to go through two or three different um, options of a modified divisor before you find one. The other thing I want you to realize is we found that 35 worked, but there are also other numbers that will work. So there's a range of numbers that will work. So I don't want you to think there's just one number out there that will actually work in Jefferson's method. So again, just to look at one additional thing here, when we looked, came up with this initial lower quota, it was too small, which means I need to go smaller than the standard divisor to come up with a new modified divisor. So our modified divisor has to be smaller than that standard divisor.